Hello guys and welcome to this x86-64 Linux assembly tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be making a subroutine for printing out strings of text. Now if we open our hello world code, you may think you know this already can display strings of text. But one of the issues is you have to actually count the length of the string of text every time. You can't just give it a string of text and have it printed out. You have to actually count the length of the string every time. So we want to create a subroutine to print out a string of text without needing to count how many characters it is every time. So to do this, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our string up here and we're going to end it with a zero. And so we're going to write a subroutine that will count the length of the string starting at text and going until it hits a zero. So essentially count the length of it for us. So we want to simply have a subroutine where we can uh, called print that we can just call to print our string. And as an input we'll have the RAX register. I'm just going to label this. When you put a semicolon that's a comment. So essentially this line doesn't do anything since I put a semicolon before it. Uh, then our output will be print string at rax as pointer to string. See, this is just a little description of what my um, what my uh, subroutine is going to do. So the input is going to be the rax register as a pointer to a string. So the what's in the rax register will be the memory address of a string such as text will be the memory address of the string and the output will print that string so let's start writing this uh, subroutine so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push RAX onto the stack that's just going to say the value of RAX for later now we're going to move into RBX 0 then we're going to use RBX to count the uh, length of the string. So then we're going to create another label called this loop and then we're going to increment the RAX register, then we're going to increment the RBX register, then we're going to move into CL. CL is the um, 8-bit equivalent of um, RCX. So we're going to move into CL RAX. So um, so the first thing when we move, let's say text is an RAX. If we load the first byte at RAX, that's going to load in the H. But if we increment RAX, that's going to load the E. If we increment RAX again, it's going to load the L. So this CL, every time we go through this loop, will hold the next value in the string. So then we're going to compare what's in CL to 0. And if it's 0... That means it's the end of the string. If it's not equal to zero, we're going to jump not equal loop. So it's going to keep incrementing the RAX. It's going to keep incrementing RBX, which is our count of how long the string is, until we reach zero, which is the end of the string. And then we're going to move into RAX1, move into RDI1. This is just the um, code to print out strings like we normally do. Now we're going to pop RSI, because remember we pushed RAX, and that was the pointer to our string. So now we're going to pop RSI, so we're going to pop that value into the RSI register. So whatever pointer you send to this subroutine to print to the string, that's going to go into our, um, this, into the RSI register, which remember this is the argument that points to the location if you go up here at the hello world code rsi reloaded in text and so that points to the um to the location of the string then rdx is our count so for our count we're just going to move into rdx rbx because we that's what we just counted it with then we're going to syscall then we're going to return now i can remove this entire thing this entire thing and I can just say move into RAX text, then call print. And this alone is enough to print text onto the screen. I don't even need to specify a length. 
So I can also have um text two defined by it. world with maybe a question mark and then new line a zero. Then I can move into rex text two call print. And so this will print text, then print text too. So it'll print hello, then print hello world, then it'll print just world. So we're going to save this. Now nasm-f elf64 hello.asm-o hello.o ld hello.o-o hello hello. And as you can see hello, then on the next line you get world. So that's it for this tutorial. That's how you can make a simple subroutine to print out text without needing to specify the length of the string.